Start by opening up the project in which you want to create these new classes. We will need two classes. One class which inherits from pawn and another class which inherits from pawn movement component. Go to File, New C++ Class, select Pawn and rename your new class as this card. Well, you can rename it as whatever you like. Choose the folder and be sure to choose a create a new folder which you will name public and select this to create the header for your new class. Create class and wait for this to finish up. Once you have created this new class, return to the editor and we will continue to create another. Go up once again to file, new C++ class. Let's see if we can have this in the pawn movement component. I'm going to go straight ahead and show all classes and write pawn movement component. Select next and I'm going to rename this with fewer characters. Fees card as our main card and movement component I always reduce to move comp. Be sure to select once again the public folder for, for both of these classes to be in the same structure and create class. Let's wait once more to create this. We have now the two classes press reload all. You will be able to see the two classes that were created. Now that we have created these classes, the very first thing we need to do is to bind the new movement component to the uh, custom fees card. First, we need to include a reference to the file. Then we need to override the constructor and create a pointer in the public definition. The pointer is going to be public so we can access it later. After that we need to implement a name in the protected category. Finally we need to actually create the actual movement component in the private definition. Now let's go to the constructor file and in this place we will override the default constructor with the recently defined one. Inside the new constructor, we will create the default subobject FeeScart MoveCon and make this and call the updated component to set to our root component. This should be working, compiled to test. And we don't have any errors for now. Following this, proceed to create a pointer to the fist card from the fist card move comp. Open the fist card move comp header and start by adding a forward declaration for a fist card. Then create once more an override for the default constructor in the public header. Also override the function initialize component and create a getter for the fist card owner pointer. After this, create the actual pointer in a protected header and create the definition outside the main class declaration. Let's go to the constructor class and in this class we have to provide the include path to the fist card. We need to create the definition for the constructor and actually and create the definition for the initialized component. Inside the initialized component is where we are going to find the pointer to our particular owner. Proceed to test if we are correct. And we are ready to go. Now that we have this, we can start by check we can check that we have this function ready by creating a blueprint. Let's start by creating a new folder, these parts. Inside this folder, create a new blueprint and select our fees card. I'm going to rename this as bp underscore fees card. 
open this file no problem so long and we have a pointer to the face card movement component proceed to print a string to confirm that we have this working and set up For testing purposes, I'm going to play this in a level and simulate. We should be ready to go. As you can see, we have BP face cards as the movement component for our face card. All is going well. Now, go to the Solution Explorer and search for the character movement component. Dot H. Open up the character movement component and the character movement component dot C++. If you look closely, you will detect the network prediction interface on the character movement component header. There it is, network prediction interface. If we look around in the file, we can see that the character movement component calls the public I network prediction interface and then uses it more or less right below. You can see a bunch of functions that are supposed to work inside this network prediction interface. However, it is not as easy as it seems. We cannot just copy and paste all these functions because also these are the main functions that we will be using. This function actually make use of other methods inside this class, but we must start by some by something somewhere. All right. It appears that we will be using all of these right until the very end. We shouldn't need the root motion for our purposes. I remember that we will need the teleport type, maybe, and these declarations. So if we take a look at the constructor, we will be able to see that network prediction interface is not defined. However, if we look at network prediction, we will see these declarations. These are part of the functions and declarations that we need. Right in the mark. Of smooth correction are the main functions that we need to use all the way to the end of the class. You can see that there are a lot of lines. From 7000 to line 11000. That's roughly almost half all the methods in character moment component and that's not all we also need to take a look at the character class there you will have to also copy and paste some of the functions for the replicated moment let's have that ready right away so we better get started so it appears that in, from 4.26 onwards, Unreal has decided to create a new class to handle the replication drugs. So we are going to do the same, just so you know exactly where to find the functions to copy and paste into your own class. Let's go to File, New C++ Class. Let me take a look at what it's supposed to be. Charge Movement Replication and it's sword is an empty class which includes only yeah we can pretty much utilize uh, an empty class select none and rename this class as charter movement replication but change the charter move for your fees card move replication and remember to choose the public folder and create class. Now 
now select really and stop the grooving. Great. We don't need the physical replication dot C++, but we can leave that as it is. Now, on the physical replication dot H, we are going to copy and paste everything. Copy and paste everything from the charter movement replication dot H. Remember that you're going to use this later. So let's just comment out this and paste everything like that. Now, this is the tricky part. We can pretty much get away with that. However, let's start by changing this engine underscore API to our project API. This is going to depend on your own project. Alright, that's the very first thing that we changed. The second thing that we are going to change is look at everything where there is this char charter. We're going to change that charter for our fist char. However, well, it appears I recommend you to select the whole level, the whole letters, not just the charter. So there are no confusions with other stuff. Change the charter for your fist card. Go one by one to check that you don't move anything that is not necessary. Alright, with that out of the way, proceed to change the U charter movement component call for your fist card movement component. Include the U. Move call as it is declared as a class. Proceed to replace one by one to check that you don't change anything that doesn't need to be changed. And we're done for now. Return to the beginning. And we, will, we won't need the root motion source. Other things that we might have to change are this chapter in upper score letters. Take a look, select match case to view only the upper cases. And it appears that we can change exactly that for our particular freeze cards. As it is defined, let's define this as well with upper layer case freeze cards and change everything. I'm hoping we don't have to look beyond these declarations. Let's keep searching for what we have to upgrade. Everything appears normal. No, however, this is count to another character. I recommend you as well to utilize a block to keep track of everything that you have changed. So, we're going to change this F Charter Network Serialization Packet Bits for F Fifth Card Network Serialization Packet Bits. Select this one, press Ctrl H, and select your new Return to the beginning and we are going to keep looking for information that we have to upgrade. This looks like another one, but let me see if we are not getting ahead of ourselves. So this is the next one. Change the charter for your particular name. In our case, Fizz card. Let's go from the beginning, change every instance that you have found. As you can see, we have found something that is not the same. But it is included in our approximation. Alright. 
Let's move on. What else do we have to change now? Let's start. We're looking for something like Charter. Char. This is the next one. F Charter Server Move Packet Bits. It's not the same as Serialization Packet Bits. We're going to change the, again the Charter from Fiscart. Let's go one by one. This is the only place that we have to change that. If client adjustment. I think that if we will if we leave this as that, it's going to have problem with the engine declaration F client adjustment. But first of all, let's move on to the chapters, to the obvious ones. The next one is going to be F charter move response data container. Change charter for this card. Let's see what we got here. No more occurrences, but we're trying to see if we have to change any other charter. This appears to be enough for you. So let's move on to F charter move response packet bits. Change the charter for this card. actually change the declarations. So it looks like we have things for now in this place. If we try to compile and build, we're going to get the error that some functions have no declaration. Or maybe not. However, this is card more application FaceCard and FaceCard move comp classes. There you have it. It's not a class name. Oh, okay. We have to comment out these ones because we removed the constructor for this. Let's see if we can build. No, it's not ready yet. Unresolved external network. Unresolved external symbols. This means that this is meaning of the functions that have this little green thing is this beneath them. That means that these functions need to be declared. They are going to be declared either on the first card move component or the first card class. Let's move on. Let's 